Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Basali, your orthopedics faculty with Maro, and it gives me immense pleasure to introduce Dr. Rajeshwari, who's from Kakinara district of Andhra Pradesh, and she has done her undergraduation from Russia, and she has secured an amazing score of 246 in this FMG, uh, January 2025. Congratulations, Dr. Rajeshwari. Thank you, sir. Right. So, Rajeshwari, uh, I just want to ask you, when was the moment that you decided that you need to start preparing for FMG exam? Uh, I started, uh, I, I, I thought I should start my preparation from fifth year, sir, so that I can uh, have my whole, uh, means I remember all the things. Uh, for, means uh, it is only two years duration. Uh, for, I, th I took marrow subscription. So that I will have good knowledge when the uh, exam is near. So I, I, uh, I thought to take marrow subscription in fifth year, sir. So in fifth year, I took subscription and started my preparation from there. Very unique, right? A lot of people would want to start early so that they can finish a lot of content over time. But you are like, nice, sir, I want to start towards the end so that I don't forget the stuff that I study. I only want to study for two years. <laughs> Right, very nice. So, I want to know why Why did you take marrow? I mean, how do you think marrow was uh, going to be helpful to you? Yes, sir. Uh, I thought because uh, it is very good in PG preparation and INSET preparation, not only FMZ, because if I start if I start my preparation for NEET PG level, why not I score good marks in FMZ? So, I thought to take marrow and I subscribe for marrows. All right. So, yeah, something obviously is doing very well in NEET PG, and I said the exam will obviously also do very well in the FMG exam because this is something that people should understand and all of us should understand that the boards that are conducting these exams are essentially the same and the quality of the questions these days are almost pretty much the same, which is becoming uh, heavily clinical as we are going to discuss later. Now, I want to understand how did you use the Marrow videos, uh, the regular videos for your final year? Actually, when I come back to home i use it to watch videos like nearly four to five in a day sir and i use it to prepare my own notes and uh, read that notes and use it to do same um, module related to that video sir awesome so four to five video modules every day that is roughly around three and a half to four hours every day right so you used to watch it on 1.5x or 2x 1.5x sir subject which is a more familiar to me, I use it to watch in 1.5 and 1.8, sir. Okay. And while watching, you would use to make your own notes? Yes, sir. Amazing. Awesome. And after doing that, you would go to the question bank, do the modules of the respective videos, and if you would found find extra information, you would add it to your notes? Yes, sir. And this you did for all the final year subjects, medicine, all the clinical subjects? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. What about the other subjects? Um... For anatomy, everything, uh, I use it, uh, I make my own notes and I use it to draw my own diagrams, sir. Awesome. Same thing I use it to follow. What about the short subjects, sir, Aishri? Uh, short subjects, I uh, I watch short subjects in revision videos, sir, because lack of time during my final year. So, I, I use, uh, I saw revision videos during my preparation. And, and what about I got the it? MCQs, sir. Notes for revision videos? Did you make your own notes in revision videos? Own notes, sir. Okay, awesome. So, regular videos, or yeah, revision videos, or you made your own notes. And after watching the revision videos or regular videos, you'd go back to the question mark and do the modules. Yes, sir. And when I watched that revision videos, uh, I did uh, modules again. If uh, Whatever the points I didn't get, I wrote again notes, sir. Achha. So but whatever points you did not, yeah. So whatever point you did not understand in the revision videos, did you refer it to the regular videos or did you let it go? Yes, sir. You yes, referred sir, back to that. Sir. So the, the, essentially, even though you did the revision videos, if there was a part which you did not understand, you would go back to the regular videos to get a complete understanding. I think this is a very important point here. It is not the matter of regular videos or revision videos or doing the question bank. The point here is to understand the concept that is being tested on the exam. Whether you do it from revision videos or regular videos or question bank does not matter. You have to master the concept. And once you have mastered that concept or area of the subject, yes. then you are ready to answer any kind of question in any kind of exam that is uh, being conducted. I think that's a wonderful way of yes. uh, preparing. So any faculty of Marrow um, that you have watched in videos left an impact on you or helped you understand a complex concept that you would want to mention? Yes, sir. 
सो मेनी टीचर सर लाइक यू रोहन सर साक्षी मैम राकेश नायर सर एवरी वन सर आसम awesome well everyone actually have put their hearts into this uh, you know content yes. now let's talk about um, yeah the question bank you said that you would do the question bank of the respective modules after each videos so were you able to complete uh, almost all of the question bank um yes sir almost uh, i used to do almost all all topics sir whichever uh, i feel it is difficult i left that sir means uh, i used to do it later acha whatever was hard you to do it yeah, but it you to still score it. nearly 80% in q bank sir okay so after and this is score would be possible only after watching the videos yes sir okay. because if the so, video is specific to that module we can uh, relate everything to that module so so doing the question bank immediately after watching the videos was also helpful in you know understanding the things that you were watching in the videos better and also revising yes, it immediately sir. right yes what about your uh, grand tests when did you start taking grand tests and what is your performance in grand tests so i started my grand tests giving uh, giving grand tests in from october 2024 sir acha i i i i pursued good marks in grand tests sir, so looking that you grand uh, graph right now looking at the grand test graph right now it looks like you have gotten a very decent scores and this is the last grand test right where you scored 122 out of 150 127 yeah. out of 150 yeah, wonderful scores amazing i mean there is always this fear na ki if we do a grand test and our scores are not good we'll feel depressed but you have to actually you know fight that fear and give a grand test because if you do not give a grand test you will so not actually what the score i got in grand test i i also scored in main exams sir it is really great that that's the whole i mean point of creating a exam scenario which mimics the actual exam and that is the beauty of your marrow grant test yes, that is why we keep telling you do the grant test give the grant test because it will give you the actual exam feel in terms of the question quality in terms of the trickiness of the framing of the questions and everything and unless you know where you stand you will not know where you have to go uh, obviously after each grant test you must have seen the gt analytics where you would identify your weak subjects what would you do once you know that this is your weak subject uh i used to revise that subject sir uh, two times sir no, uh, i feel that i should be i should do this <laughs> so i used to revise that subject sir uh, when i see that graph the it shows that weakest sub subject and strongest uh, subject uh, i used to revise that weakest uh, subject sir sometimes uh, which uh, uh, even though i am strong at that subject due to some tricky questions uh, it shows it, it is your weakest subject Hmm. So I think the, 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 it basically removes the disorientation in your preparation. Sometimes we assume we are good at a particular subject, but then the reality is we are not. And these analytics show you transparently that this is your weak area, boy. Yeah, please work on this and improve this. And once you follow it, improve it, then you become unstoppable. Like uh, you, have. like wonderful. Now I want to understand uh, in terms of. there is a feature in maro called custom modules where you are allowed to you know mix and match yes, questions and focus on your desired areas did you use it and was it helpful yes sir i used it to do nearly four four custom modules a day sir uh, i kept 50 questions in each module and i used it to do four modules like nearly 200 questions in my last day sir and last so towards the end you were heavily relying on custom the last 3 to 4 months you were very pressing on and out of 50 i used it to score 40 42 like that sir so the beauty of custom modules is it will give you these random questions from all over the areas of preparation so it is not a subject specific uh, custom module it's not a topic specific custom module you can create a random custom module and this uh, tests your areas of knowledge throughout the course so this gives you the confidence if you are able to score decently well on custom modules it gives you the confidence care you feel ki i know my stuff and i am not doing bad so that is a wonderful way and it yes. keeps you in touch with the question so practicing around 100 to 200 questions especially towards the end um, you know part of your preparation is a very very important thing that most of us miss now uh, rajeshwari you have done decently well you started in final year you prepared for two years final year and internship you got a very good uh, score in the first attempt uh, is there any advice that you would want to give your juniors who are watching this uh, because they would also want to score such an amazing score na so anything you want to tell them Yes, sir. I suggest them to watch videos and do modules in in the same time. 
uh, when they watch the video so that uh, if there any uh, doubt in their uh, concept they can clear through the module they will understand their mistake and i suggest them to do um, custom modules even though uh, if they didn't complete 19 subjects whatever subject they completed use that uh, uh, tag and uh, do custom modules so that they can get uh, correlation integrated manner A anything you want to add in terms of uh, the fear of giving grants that most of the students have i suggest them initially they will get low score but don't get low because uh, no no one is um, top at, at in the initial part so gradually they can increase their score so no need to worry about uh, grants uh, i will suggest uh, don't be li like me because i gave my grants at last uh, i suggest you to give grants from starting onwards awesome so so the points here are be consistent with video lectures and do the question banks and test start grants early use the gt analytics to understand where you are weak one thing i want to understand rajeshwari i mean watching the maro videos listening to the lecturers uh, and the teachers is speak to you and help you understand this concept did you ever find that it was difficult for you to understand or were the teachers explaining things very simply and nicely really teachers are explaining things very simply and easily sir very good uh, actually um the faculty of maro they make complex topics also in simple manner sir so that everything can be understandable so i can't repeat video once again sir i use it to see in one uh, means one attempt right so you understood everything in the first listening itself you never had to go back that's wonderful i mean it was so nice talking to you rajeshwari uh, and congratulations once again i'm sure you will do very well and with the kind of knowledge that you have built using the regular videos and the notes of maro i'm sure I, all you need to do is just keep on revising and take this forward to your neat pg examination because the content is the same the knowledge base is the same all you need to do is just refine your exam taking skills and attempt those tricky complicated question banks with the grantists uh, questions with the grantist and i'm sure you will do well uh, what will you do after your internship you'll prepare for neat pg and inset exam Uh, yes, sir. Right, right. So, I thank you very much. I should start my preparation during internship also. Sir. Yes, of course you should do it, and you have Maro all the way with you. You have already done most of it. Just keep on improving on it. I am sure you will do very well, and we'll see you again after securing a good rank in in it week as well. Thank you, Rajesh Shori. It was so nice talking with you, and thank you for sharing your insights with the juniors. Bye bye. Thank you so much, sir.